Now, in another update to fluoride, we see that yet another Harvard study. Remember, there was a Harvard study that came out that showed that it lowered IQ rates in China. Well, now what they've done is they've looked at a combination of IQ studies, and they find that on average, it is lowering IQ by seven IQ points. In a metadata analysis, researchers from Harvard School of Public Health and China have for the first time combined 27 studies and found strong indications that fluoride may adversely affect cognitive development in children. Based on the findings, they say that this risk should not be ignored. And this is the thing that they found, the mechanism that they found from one lady's Ph.D. paper. This was Jennifer Luke. She wrote in her 2001 scientific article that was part of her Ph.D. dissertation, she said that the fluoride accumulates in the brain specifically around the pineal gland. So that's something to be concerned about. We can try to wake up different city councilors, state governments, to make them stop putting this in the water. We're forced to pay for it. And when you see something come out like this, you have to ask yourself, how can they justify mass medication in the water supply? Because when you do that, you're getting a very different dosage for people by just dumping it into the water supply. You cannot control the dosage. And the dosage, even if it were safe and effective, and it's not safe or effective, but even if it were, the dosage would be different for a person who is an adult male versus a child versus a fetus. How do you control that? Well, you can't if you just dump medication in the water. We should never accept forced medication that way. Unfortunately, we cannot roll it back as easily as we would like, so you need to take control of your own health. You need to try to protect yourself and your family. One of the ways you can do that is with iodine. Now we see in another case from the TSA, they're still coming after people at the airport when they know that there is no threat from either terrorists at the airport or at airplanes, and they've admitted this in their own internal documents. We've seen that come out from John Corbett. We've seen it confessed in the blog of the former TSA agent. Now, this time, they actually humiliated a man who has been a cancer victim by saying he's wearing a diaper. Totally humiliated the man. That's what this is all about. It's about not only taking away our freedom, but our dignity. And they continue to do that. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.